Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Look at how adorable you guys are. Oh, look at you. Hello, everybody. Pug Nation here. Welcome back to another episode of Pugs Quest. Woo! In the last episode, we went through the nether and found this awesome Mesa biome. Or however you say that. Metza biome? Mesa biome? Mitza Mesa biome? Okay, shut up. But anyways, and now we're here, and uh, I need to find my way back, but I couldn't help but keep exploring a little bit, and boom! Check this out! Super huge jungle biome, and look at this! This is like the crossroads of four biomes right here. Mesa biome, desert biome, savanna biome, and jungle biome. But I need to make it back to Pug Nation. My inventory is totally full from my uh, nether trip, so I'm not going to start... Uh, farming this. Whoa, look at that big ravine down. Oh, this area is so cool. I can't get over it. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some, um, I need to get some cocoa beans before I go back so I can start working on my wool farm. And I see, oh, perfect. Look at that right there. Cocoa beans. Awesome. 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 I just need a couple of these. Uh, screw, I don't need netherrack. Get rid of that. Give me these cocoa beans and get rid of that. Ooh! And there we go. Got my cocoa beans. And now I can make all the colors I want in my wheat farm. I got brown. I've got green. All set. But anyways, back to the... Yeah, what's up, dude? What's up? Right in the face. Woo! Okay, heading back to my portal. It's pretty far away. Let's see if I can find my way back there. And uh, I'm going to get started on this wheat farm so I can finally start decorating my base. And then I think after that, probably not in this episode, but i got to get started on the gold farm. Gold farm is very important because I really, really need the powered rails so I can make my transportation through the nether that much easier so I can get to this Mesa biome. Alone in the desert for 40 days and 40 nights. No, but seriously, where the hell is my nether portal? <laughs> Oh, man. All right, there's the Mesa. Definitely been here before. I know it. We've made it to the end of the Mesa biome, and blah, this desert just goes on forever. Whoa, check that out. Oh, God, nope. What's up, little dude? Peace. Oh, oh I killed the chicken. Oh, that's sad. Sorry I ruined your day. Oh, man, where am I? Oh, wait, there we go. There's that giant pillar thing that's so cool. I recognize that. That thing's like a nice big landmark. Can't miss that. So I've got to be close. Got to be close. Or is that the giant pillar thing? Uh, yeah, definitely got to get the gold farm up and running. That way I can just have powered rails somewhere between the uh, between the nether portal and the maze of biome and then of course between the uh, the nether portal in the nether and my pugnation base does that make any sense I am tired I'm filming this too late <laughs> and I've been in the desert so long so many years oh there's my there's my beacon I see it I see the beacon I've got to be close I've got to be close. Do, 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 Almost there. I think. Maybe. Hey! There we go. Stupid exploration episodes. What am I doing? Enough! Time to get back on my grind. Get my wool farm up and running and bloop, let's go back home. Where am I? I think I came from way up there. Which means we need to get back up there. Which is just friggin' awesome. Just friggin' awesome. Man, this is an exciting episode. Are you guys glad you've tuned in to watch me get lost for, for 10 minutes straight before we actually complete anything? I bet you're glad. I know I'm glad. Son of a bitch. Oh, shoot! Could it be... Yeah, there we go. Home sweet home. Finally made our way back, although I don't really have an easy way down here, huh? Hmm. <laughs> there we go. Woo! Home sweet home. Boo! 
Get out of my way! Alright, well that's pretty easy. Once you know your way back, that ain't that far away. And there's not too many obstacles between my portal here to my home world and to that maze biome. So that's going to be great. Alright, home sweet home. And of course it's raining. And just a miserable night here in Pugnation. But I am returning victorious with a bunch of awesome stuff. I could finally start decorating. I could even make a potion stand, which is pretty cool. Pretty, pretty cool, and woo, here we go, here we go, here we go! Woo! Ah, woo! I love this. This is never gonna get old. This is never gonna get old, and look how bootleg this is. I gotta show you this. Oh, get out of here. Oh, uh, I wanna pick that up. Let's see, I can, no, I don't wanna get rid of that. I'll get rid of this, uh, sand. I don't need that sand. Yeah, I don't have a silk touch, pick, or shuffle, or anything, so in order to get grass blocks down here for my wool farm i had to do it the old-fashioned way by having dirt blocks come from the outside pretty ghetto definitely definitely need to invest in some more enchanting but this is cool though this is a fine method of getting grass blocks down here and i'm sorry it starts to get jumpy when we get into my base because there's a lot of redstone stuff going on but yeah, this, this giant hole that I'm digging out, this is where the wool farm is going to go. I'm going to just have this area be the lobby, and then when you get down there, I'm going to dig a hallway straight out where I'll have different pens for the different colored wools, uh, sheep that is. And so I'm going to go ahead, I'm just going to keep digging this out, and I'll cut back when it's time to start putting sheep in their pens once I have the giant hole dug out. Okay, so I've done it. I've dug a huge, huge hole, and this is where the sheep are going to go, down here. What I imagine is I'm going to have um, 10 different enclosures, so I can have 10 different sheep colors, and their pens are going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 blocks wide with a dividing wall in between. I'm going to make the wall out of glass with like a gate in the middle so I can lead new sheep in. I've run into a little bit of a problem, though. That problem being that I dug right into the side of this abandoned mine that I was exploring before. And boom, look at this. There's a spider spotter here. And I'm pretty sure that one of the sheep enclosures, yeah, definitely. One of the sheep enclosures is going to have the spider spawner in the middle. So that's a little goofy. I don't want to get rid of this because who knows? I might make a spider farm here for whatever reason. Um... There is another spider farm in this uh, mine somewhere. I'm not sure where it is. I wrote down the coordinates. It's on a sticky note somewhere in my office. You know, very organized here at the Pugnation Studio. Uh, I think I might... I don't know. I might either just, like, skip a pen. So you can see kind of the situation I have here. It's going to be a pen here, pen here, pen here pen here and then the last pen will include that spider spawner which is kind of goofy or will it one two three four yeah it's gonna be right in the middle of that sheep pen will it be buried though actually i think it'll be buried let me see so yeah this is ground level right here this would be funny i could bury the spider spawner in the sheep pen and then if i ever really wanted a spider spawner I could just unbury it. Yeah, okay. This will be ground level right here. This is the new ground level. Maybe I'll just put like a green carpet over it. That's. I think that's what I'm going to do. That way it looks like grass because it's going to be all grass blocks in here, of course. So I better get more grass blocks and keep leading this grass into the pens. Because, of course, the sheep need to eat grass in order to regain their wool and make this wool farm actually useful but anyways i think i'm going to flip on the time lapse and keep digging this out
Alright, so I think that is a nice big enclosure for sheep. 5 wide and 15 deep, not bad. Of course I gotta make this nice and pretty. And I need to get that grass to fill this entire floor area. And now I need to repeat it 9 more times. And I'm not going to do a time lapse for 10 of these because uh, my computer's going to run out of space on its hard drive with all this footage I'm shooting of me just digging a hole. <laughs> so uh, I'm going to cut the camera. I'm going to come back when I have all 10 of my sheep containment units all set and ready to go. Okay, finished digging all the holes. And the grass is coming in very nicely, I must say. It's actually made it. Almost to the last pod here, but this is awesome. Okay, so I got my 10 holding cells all set up, and now I just need to put the glass wall in. I've decided I'm going to go with a design kind of like this. Just going to have some glass here so you can see the way your sheep are being, living out their lives, having a wonderful day inside their little pen. Um... Oh, I gotta finish all these walls. What am I doing? I cut the walls down or I left them cut down like this so that the grass would grow faster. Because I discovered I had these like dirt blocks just like this so that the grass will spread. But yeah, it definitely goes much faster if you have a wider opening. So I gotta keep walling this off. This thing is taking forever, I'll tell you what. Every time you start out one of these projects, you never know how long it's gonna take, and it always ends up taking too long. <laughs> Always ends up taking much longer than you hoped it would. And of course now I'm out of smooth stone, but that's fine. Because I actually have tons of smooth stone. I'll show you why. I set up a nice furnace operation. But anyways, yeah, I think that's a cool... It looks pretty nice. I mean, it's kind of neat. Eventually I'm going to get rid of that. That doesn't need to be there. Although it kind of looks cool, having the grass stick out like that. I kind of like it, actually. I might leave that. But just finish walling these off, and then I gotta breed up my uh, my uh, sheep and my sheep farm and lead them down here. And then lock them up. They'll have better lives than their people in the sheep food farm, though, at least. Much longer lives. Much longer lives, certainly. Alright, there's another completed one. Hopefully it's not too hard leading them into that. And I'll at least put these too high for now. That way I don't have to worry about my sheep escaping. But this is going to be great. Now that I have all this set up, whoops. Now that I have all this set up, once I get my sheep in here and all dyed up, I can really start decorating with all my different colored wools. It's really going to start to look nice, I think. I think it'll start to look nice. But, um, so really excited about that. And I think maybe in the next episode, hopefully I could start to put together the pug head which I keep talking about, but I really, really want to get that down. I really want to start getting things looking nice here. And, oh, yeah, look at how awesome this lobby is, how huge this room is. Of course, eventually these are going to be stairs, not just blocks, but I think this is all coming along great. Everything looks really nice, I think. And just like that, everything is functionally complete. Once the grass moves into here and once I wall that off. But let me go back. Well, let me just keep walling this off with glass, but let me go back and get the wheat so I can breed some sheep and then break them out so I can start leading them down here and then start filling these things. Then start filling these things. Well, guys, also, don't forget, leave your comments down below if you have any suggestions of things you would like to see go in. The Puglet Awesome Builds Book. Let me know down below. I really want to hear your suggestions. We have lots of capabilities now in the Pugnation server. I've got access to the Nether. I've got access to a maze of biome so I can get all the colored clays. Um, I have enough obsidian to start a gold farm, which I think I might do very, very soon. Uh, nothing too big, of course, because I don't have that much obsidian, but I'm going to have all different colored uh, wools now, so I got plenty of room to do stuff on there. Uh, all kinds of stuff. All kinds of stuff. This is actually also a slime farm. It turns out one of these chunks, I'm not sure, I mean this intercepts a lot of chunks of course, but one of these chunks is a slime spawnable chunk, and while I've been digging this out, I've actually found quite a few down here. 
It's been kind of neat. But all right, it's time. Let's complete the walls. And I'm sorry it gets so jump For whatever reason, it gets jumpy in this room, this big room. I'm not sure why that is. The skeleton trap is right through that wall. And that might be it. Sometimes I've noticed, oh, yeah, look at that. The glowstone's going in. Looks pretty good. But sometimes I notice the skeleton trap can be a little bit buggy, especially when you have this clock on. It gets really buggy. But otherwise, yeah, I'm not too sure what that's about. It's just, I think there's too much going on in this area, so it just gets a little jumpy. But check this out. I've got this set up. I've got fuel goes in the back here, so this is constantly supplied with fuel. And look at how much I've got. Those are blocks of coal. That's awesome. And I've just been throwing all my cobblestone in these two chests here, which then get funneled into these two chests. So you can see I'm not going to be running out of stone anytime soon. And what else was I here for? And look at this. I got two stacks of hay bales. That's awesome. I'll just bring a few of these out so I can start breeding up my sheep that's more than enough so we're going to complete the walls of the sheep enclosures breed the sheep up lead the babies down here into their new homes it's not jumpy right now i don't know why it is it's only like jumpy sometimes especially when you're coming from this direction i don't understand it i don't know if it's just server lag or what but Hmm, I can't wait until Optifine comes out for 1.8. That should solve a lot of the frame rate issues. I hope. That or it's server lag and we need to update the server. That could also be true. This damn cheap server. Oh yeah, this is starting to look nice. This is going to be nice. I should start pulling the torches off the ground and putting them on the wall too but this is coming together very very well this is going to be great this is going to be great i'm getting excited for this thinking about all the cool things i could build all the colors so many options so many options everything is going to be so much better looking after this episode i guarantee it oh let me place this there oh Ooh, I named my sick pick. It is now the Wealth of Pugnation. My Efficiency 4, Fortune 3, Unbreaking 3. It is now the Wealth of Pugnation. Pretty awesome. I do think so. Oh, I keep doing that. I think it's too late at night. I keep filming these in the middle of the night. <laughs> My neighbors think I'm a crazy person, I think, because they just hear me screaming random things at, at nothing. They haven't heard of Pugnation yet, but they will. Oh, yes, they will. Oh. Almost there. It's nice having all this stone. Don't have to worry about running out anytime soon. And let's see, should I wall this off? Oh, good, the grass is already spread. This is great. The grass spends, uh, spreads much faster, I've discovered, if you have more blocks. Like, if you have three next to each other, it spreads much faster than if you do what I was doing here with just the one. goes very, very slow if you only have one. All right, that one's done. That one's done. I think they're all done. I think everything's all set. That's pretty great. All right, I'm going to start opening these up so I can get my sheep to actually go into them. I don't have to worry about that. Awesome. That's a good start. What am I going to do with this huge room, this huge lobby? That's another thing. Leave a comment. What should I do with this huge room? Right now, it's just a big old empty room. The reason I had to dig down so far, by the way, in case you're wondering, I can't dig just straight out. That's actually an ocean. If I dug straight out... I kept running into uh, water, and then I finally discovered it's because I was digging into the side of an ocean. So I had to dig down all these blocks in order to ensure I'm under the ocean. So that down there is Y38, which definitely goes right underneath the seafloor. But anyways, all right, it's time. How's it going, guys? How's it going? Breed a bunch of these dudes up. Breed as many as I can. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. 
We got some nice love making going on in there in that pile of sheep. Oh yeah. And I'm just gonna break these guys out. Come with me! Oh my god, look at how many guys that is. Oh, that's so funny. Oh, they're so cute. Look at them. You guys are actually going to have a good life. Oh my gosh, that's adorable. Look at how adorable you guys are. Oh, look at you. That one's running back towards the farm. That's kind of weird. I wonder what that's about, but okay. Come with me. So far, only one has made it. This is so adorable. Look at how cute these dudes are. I can't even get over this. Oh my goodness. That dude's lost his way. But that's fine. I just need two in each to start. I just need two in here. Only two. All right, let's get one to come out. And shut the gate. Shut the gate. No, no. Shut the gate. There we go. Okay, that's fine. I can have three in here. That's okay. Come on in. Okay, and then shut this up. All right, so I got two in there, three in there. Let's get two more. Oh, perfect. There's two here. That is absolutely perfect. We'll get you guys in here. And they're already eating the grass. That's good. I hear that. Perfect. Drop the wheat and boom. That's perfect. All right, let's see if I could get two more if there was only one that lost its way. I'm hoping there's at least a couple more. Otherwise, I have to wait until the next sheep breeding cycle. And Oh, good. There are two. Perfect. Maybe there are even more than that. Yeah, four. Awesome. This is perfect. All right, so I'm going to have... Five fully functioning sheep enclosures. Come on. Come on up. God, they're so cute. I just can't get over it. How adorable. These guys are actually going to have a good life, too. No brutal murder for you. No lava bucket in a tiny little one-by-one one meter cube. No. You guys get to live a nice, natural life in this kind of creepy underground. Okay, maybe it's not super nice, but better than your brothers. All right, I only need two. Only two. Just two. Oh, Oop, did you stay? Yes, perfect. Nice. Oh, that's now I get right there, folks. Then just drop this and woo. And now I can just keep breeding the, oh, where you go? There we go, perfect. Oh, that worked out so well. That worked out really well. Now I'm going to get some dyes and start getting to work on these guys. Turning them some funky colors. Alright, made it back. Cooking up my cactuses. Whoop, where'd it go? There it is. Cactus green. Just need one more of those. And we should be good to go. Let's see. I'll throw some more sand in there. I love this thing. I love this kind of setup with the chest hopper, furnace hopper chest. It's awesome. This thing just keeps running automatically forever. As long as I keep pumping coal into this thing, that will keep running. But let me get these cactus green and let's dye these guys up and we will be good to go, I think. Do, 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 do. This is an exciting moment. Very exciting moment for me. Oh, uh, yeah. Ooh, we already got fully grown dudes. How about that? Bam! Black sheep. Now that one's not going to be black, though. But that's all right. We'll get some more. We'll get some more dye for him. You guys, you'll be blue. You guys will be dark blue. I'll have to make a lighter blue color, too. I like the light blue. Let's see. There we go. You guys will be light blue. Perfect. And I need some green and I need some brown. Very important the brown is. Yeah. Very important. Awesome. I need the brown for those pug eyes, you know what I mean? And you guys are green. All right, and now I just need to breed the rest of them up, and I could get five more dye colors. And if I want even more dye colors, of course, it's very easy to just keep extending this outward so I can get all the different colors. And I think I might put an item sorter in that will automatically sort the different wools when I throw them in. And, hey, he's fully grown. That's great. The faster I can breed these guys, the better. Uh, any other pairs growing up? Nope, doesn't look like it. But that's fine. All right, guys, but I think that wraps this episode up. 
Leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you really like this episode and you'd like to see more like it. Leave a comment. Let me know. I need some suggestions, more things I could put in the awesome Puglet builds. Very soon, I'll be working on the giant pug head. The last obstacle for that really was getting this farm up and running. And now that that's good to go, we're good to go on that project. And these guys are growing up so fast. Ah, oh, they grow up so fast. Wait, where's your brother? There he is. So this is just great. We'll get that going up. Up and running soon, the giant pug head. And I will see you all very soon.